Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about the big announcement in the mirrorless world and that is that uh, Nikon announced the Z6 and the Z7 first mirrorless full frame cameras. Now I have to tell you that um, if you follow my channel you know probably that I'm a very straight guy and I'm not a fanboy of any brand. I use multiple brands. I use Nikon, I use Fujifilm, I use Panasonic, I use uh, I used to use Pentax, Sony, Olympus, all of them. So I'm kind of I would say where is the best bank for your buck and where is your best deal? That's what I'm fan of, you know. It's it's at the end of the day it's about the customer, not about the company because they won't pay your electricity bill, that's for sure. So they don't care about you. Now, I was shooting mainly Nikon for the past few years and uh, I really like Nikon cameras, but Nikon is a company which, uh, let's call it, they are really dumb, you know? They, uh, like, like all of them, you know, they don't care about the customer at all. And uh, I was bashing a lot Sony about they, uh, they don't care about the customers, but at the end of the day, all of them, they are the same, you know. And look, Nikon succeeds to, uh, to show again how they don't give a crap about you and me. And I tell you something, this was the biggest and the dumbest and stupidest mistake they could have ever done. And uh, it's simply just unbelievable. I'm just like, you know, it's, I don't know. Anyway they released these two mirrorless cameras the z6 and the z7 now they are they are great cameras don't get me wrong and the z6 is 24 megapixel and the z7 is 45 megapixel basically the the sensor from the 45 megapixel is from the dh50 and the 24 megapixel sensor probably it will be the sensor in the dslr which is a backside illuminated sensor by the way it will be the dslr which will replace the d750 in my opinion but anyway, so they released these two mirrorless cameras. They are excellent cameras. They are good. Autofocus is okay. And then what they do, they put the single SD card slot in it. And they put crappy battery life in it. And I was like, wait a second, this is, something is wrong over here, yeah? Because Nikon's biggest argument when Sony got on the market, it was, Oh, Sony doesn't have dual SD card slot. Oh, Sony doesn't have great battery life. And now they do the same. And I was like, oh, oh that's, that's not good. You know? <laughs> I mean, how much would, would cost them extra to put a dual SD card slot in it? Or they say that the first, the first uh, excuse what they, what they gave it was that, oh, the size. Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, Fujifilm succeeds to put in a, a dual SD card slot in the same size uh, uh, camera, you know, like Nikon. And, and Sony succeeds to do it. And, and Sony did it in full frame cameras. And <laughs> that's, only, that's only the dumbest and stupidest excuse they could ever come up. But that was their excuse, the size. That's ridiculous, I tell you. Now, anyway, let's not forget that this is very very important for majority of the professional photographers now if they think that they can release a camera on a 2000 euro price tag and respectively 3500 for the z7 because the z6 is 2000 euro or dollar because the euro price we don't know probably it will be 2200 euro usually it's like 200 euro expensive than in the united states so if they think that they can release a camera with 2000 euro 2200 euro price tag and then to compete with sony a7 mark III, which has dual sd card slot which has much better focusing which has eye out of focus which has i don't even want to to, to 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 say it you know because it just makes me angry you know and also better battery life and all that and you have uh, uh, better selection of lenses and they want to compete with that stupid idiotic stupid move from Nikon and I tell you this they they, they want to get they want to commit suicide in, in my opinion I don't know it's just unbelievably stupid from them how could they do that I don't understand honestly but 
not too long ago in a video, you know, somebody was commenting and he said that, oh, wait until Nikon and Canon will come up with the full frame camera and you will see that they will wipe away everybody. Well, they did it big time. They did it. I told the guy at the time, you know, that when I see, I'll say something. I don't see, I don't, I, I was very much hoping that Nikon will have some common sense, you know, and they will do something. But they, they did again, they did again, they crippled again the camera intentionally. They crippled again because they want, their marketing, you know, it's, it's, it's much stronger than the, the brain, you know, the, the marketing, you know, it's, it's unbelievable, I tell you. It's, uh, if, if, if a serious photographer has a little bit of head, you know, and he, I mean, th there's no question, you know, maybe who is already in Nikon system and they, they own a lot of Nikon lenses and, and still, wait a second, because here again, the adapter, they, they lied about this again, because first they said that every single Nikon lens will work with the adapter. And now they say, oh no, only the AIS lenses will work with the light, with the, and the new G lenses will work with the, uh, with the adapter. So only the newer lenses you can use. The older one, the D, D series lenses, you cannot use the screwdriver lenses with the adapter. And before they used to say that, oh, every single lens will work with the adapter. That's not every single lens. That's again a lie. So... <sighs> I really like Nikon cameras, but I tell you something, I'm against stupidity and I'm against, against uh, ignorance, you know, and this is ignorance. They just, uh, they are just, you know, the proud arrogant company and you, you can buy whatever you want, you know, if you want, you buy it. If not, well, with this kind of uh, arrogance, you know, you will go down on the drain, I tell you that. Because Sony has five years, five years experience in front of you, five years. Yes, they have some problems with the cameras. Yes, they, uh, in some uh, areas, the cameras are weaker. The example, the, everybody is complaining about weather sealing. Yes, the Sony cameras are not uh, as much weather sealed like the Nikon D850, but in the same time, they are getting there. And it's very dangerous for you, I'm telling you that, because they are getting closer and closer. Now, if Sony, with this price tags, you know, what they have on the cameras. If they would release a camera, a full-frame camera with a tilty flippy screen, I tell you, Nikon, you would be screwed big time. <laughs> I tell you that. So, I am very, very disappointed. I tell you, and this is again, they, they, uh, they just showed me again that uh, uh, I cannot trust at all in... in camera manufacturers because they don't give a crap about you and me they just want to sell their stuff and that's it you know so if you uh, if you like Nikon very much or let's say if you are a fanboy Nikon fanboy then you will protect the camera and you will buy the camera and if you have the money for it no bother it's your money you can buy it in my opinion this camera I didn't put my hand on it, but I will put my hand on it on Photokina because I'm going over there and I will put my hand on it and I will try it out. And I tell you now, I tell you now that this camera does not worth the price. If you are on an icon system and you have zillion icon lenses and you want to uh, just get a mirrorless, you know, then maybe if it works the adapter, if the adapter works really well, but in the same time, if you are not in there, or if you have just one or two Nikon lenses or three, it's not worth. Unfortunately, it's not worth the money. No. Now, that's my opinion. And I would like to hear your opinion. What do you think about this? I think that Nikon had a unique opportunity over here. And Canon has, again, a unique opportunity over here to, uh, to kind of keep up with Sony. Because Sony is marching big time, I tell you. They are going and look at Photokina. In my opinion, they will release the Sony, uh, the Sony A7 S Mark III, <clears throat> which will kill again. I tell you, and uh, they really they release cameras almost every year, you know, and they are better and better and better, and that's a big danger. And the lens lineup, you know, is just grown exponentially in the last four years, you know, five years. It's 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 it, it's unbelievable. So. Uh, I don't know why Nikon doesn't realize that or they are too arrogant to realize that. I don't know. 
But this was an epic big failure, I tell you. This camera is unbelievably stupidly designed. I believe that the ergonomics is better than the Sony. I believe that. So what if you can't use it? I mean, as a wedding photographer and as... Look, there, in ev every professional job, you need a dual SD card slot. But they are, they, are, they are targeting the enthusiastic people with a 2,000 price tag or 3,500 euro price tag camera. I mean, okay, I would understand that they don't put a dual SD card slot in a 2,000 euro camera, the Z6. But the Z7, which is 3,500, and they don't put the dual SD card slot in it. That's simply ignorant and, and stupid, in my opinion. Okay, so that's my opinion. And that's my message to Nikon. If you are looking at it, believe me, this is not going to end up well. Maybe you might sell a little bit of, I don't know, but this is not going to end up well for you because you should have listened to people. That's what people want. That's what Sony did. Learn from Sony. Look what Sony did. They were complaining about dual SD card slot. They put dual SD card slot in the camera. That's the way it should be. People complain, you listen. That's it. You didn't listen so i hope that this video was helpful to you guys i hope that you liked it if you liked it please like and subscribe and please let me know your opinion what do you think about the nikon z6 and z7 what do you think about the dual sd card slot what do you think about poor battery life what do you think about these things you know does it bother you that it's not bothering you it depends you know maybe it doesn't bother you but it bothers me and i think it was a stupid move so please feel free and leave a comment down below in a polite manner. I would not like big arguments and calling names and these kind of things. We can be polite and nice to each other and discuss it in a polite manner. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't hold it back. Give thumbs down twice. I don't really care. I just say my opinion. I want to help others with my opinion and my experience. Other than that, I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.